Rabies is a virus that affects the central nervous system of both animals and humans. It is spread by the saliva of an infected animal when it bites, scratches, or licks an open wound. The virus then travels to the brain and central nervous system, where it can cause inflammation and damage. The reason rabies-infected dogs might die after a period of time is due to the progression of the disease itself. As the virus continues to spread within the dog's body, it causes inflammation and damage to the brain and other nervous tissues. This can lead to paralysis, loss of coordination, and other neurological issues that ultimately result in the dog's death. Rabid dogs do not necessarily die immediately after biting a human or another animal. In fact, the progression of rabies in animals can vary, and it's not a certainty that an infected dog will die right after biting. The virus can affect the dog's behavior, causing aggression, agitation, and other neurological symptoms. This altered behavior can lead to an increased likelihood of biting. The connection between biting and death is not a direct cause and effect relationship. Instead, both biting behavior and eventual death are outcomes of the virus's impact on the dog's nervous system. It's important to note that not all rabid dogs will necessarily bite, and not all rabid dogs will die immediately after biting due to the disease. The timeline and severity of the disease can vary based on factors such as the strain of the virus, the dog's overall health, and the effectiveness of the immune response.